Greetings everyone, CCX here. Welcome back to the Legends of the Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we ended up racing some beavers, gotten drunk, ended up playing some random song that uh, sounds nothing like the Link's Awakening song. And now in this part, we're finally gonna go ahead and finish that side quest that I wanted to do before, but even though I couldn't really do it because I didn't feel like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, his name is Evan. Why do you call him Jackass for? I mean, I clearly end up saying that Lulu wanted to cheat on me with Jappass and not Evan. I mean, Evan is the band leader. Anyways, you can't read this because it's in Zora language, because God forbid Link actually learns what the hell Zora language stands for. Mikal, my diary. Today, Jappass and I had a jam session. He's not good with words, but he writes great riffs. <clears throat> Here's what I played. Today, I had Lulu listen to my session with Japaz. She seemed to like it a lot. Lulu's a pretty great girl, after all. Today, I had a no jam session with Japaz. Evan was in a bad, was in a bad mood because two of us are writing songs on our own. Why is that such a problem, though? I mean, I understand it because he's basically the leader of the band. So, you know, essentially us. Wow, your lucky color is green. Hmm. That's not foreboding. <laughs> yeah, that was basically Mikau's diary. Why is it in that person's room? I have no idea. Now, what you need to do, and the thing is you can probably skip this if you know the button combination, but you kind of need to do this first. So, take out your jammers, and what you need to do, try following this phrase I've wrote on the guitar. And what you need to do is, well, you need to press the buttons that you saw on the wonderful book. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, now listen to the wonderful song that is Mikau and Japass jamming. You guys are jamming! Daddy, she said a bad word! <laughs> he's so proud, he's resent. The fact that we wrote something on our own, I don't think he even let the others try it out. What do you think we should do? Well, I really hope that somebody with Ocarina can go ahead and play, um, play Evan the Sean that we just wrote. Also, the thing is, is that in the remake, they kind of do give you the um, button combinations that you're supposed to press. In this one, they do not. So, uh, I hope you remembered all those button combinations. Yeah, you guys are probably saying, Oh, jeez, we gotta remember all those button combinations. That sounds like a difficult task. And, yeah, it really is. <laughs> it really, really is. So, what you need to do is take off your mask and ignore the wonderful ambulance, fire truck. I don't know what it is. And what you need to do, you need to stand near Evan, take out your ocarina, and... Play the button combination that you basically heard, and you should be good. There you go. Huh? That song. Now listen to Evan play some wonderful riffs. Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just met. Whatever. You got a good sense of melody. We'll play my new song at our next show. Take this as a thanks. And we got ourselves another hard piece for helping this douchebag end up coming up with some lyrics that he did not go ahead and make up on his own. Yeah, you are stealing my song. You're lucky I'm a nice guy because if I wasn't, I'll kill you right here and now. But then again, if I did, then this, I this entire story would be kind of moot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not like it matters anyways. I can just reset time. Apparently, the only people who always, who always stay dead are Mikal, <laughs> Dormani, and the great and the Deku, uh, the Deku Butler's the son. But everyone else, nah, they all fair game. Oh yeah, and also the Kerman, the God, the 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 what the hell is this mask called again? The Kamaro man is dead. Listen, no, actually, I think he does appear again. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but who really cares? Now, the thing is, as I said before, you have to finish that side quest before you go ahead and finish the Great Bay. Because if you don't, well, you know, he's not going to be there. All right. Now, let's go ahead and head to the Great Bay. All right. Let's play some riffs. Okay, I actually do need to go and figure out what the button combinations because I don't really remember what the new wave bossa nova even is. Okay. <sighs> Why do I always forget that? Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Is the okay? It's that way. Okay. Sometimes I swear that these C sticks are by far the most annoying thing ever. That's why buttons are the best. By the way, that does not look any better even in the 3DS version, so don't think that it does. Just telling you guys the truth. Hey! Look at that. Turtle. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, I slept quite well. Oh boy. I just realized, this is when I open my eyes. The best of days is quite quick, is it, Lulu? Yes, Lulu, it's nothing to be surprised at. Although my eyes were closed and asleep, I still see everything that occurs in this ocean. Hmm, it seems Lulu is confused. Regrettably, there's no time for idea conversations. Now then, Brout Zora Warrior, uh, I can't do this forever. The urban sea agree, keeps changing quickly. Come on to my back. Well, that was terrible. I tried to sound like Kermit the Frog, but then my voice kind of shattered <laughs> after a, a while. Oh, Mikau, what's going on? Uh, my voice. <laughs> what's happening to me? Uh, Lulu, just stick to talking. I mean, just just stick to singing. Don't talk at all. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like a smoke a crap load of cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they always said that um, females always, <laughs> female singers always actually sound like smokers, but in, when they sing, they sound like angels. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shut up now. All right, guys, now it's time to head to the Great Bay Temple, the first half of the Great Bay Temple. Let's go. I know I'm probably doing this in a very, very stupid way, but I want to just get on with the Great Bay Temple already. I'm sick and tired of waiting, and I know you guys are sick and tired of waiting. Onwards to the Great Bay Temple. There we go. As the word of Nelson Muntz would say, ha ha! Is 
seriously, what the hell were they trying to accomplish by going into... Uh, you know what? That's like literally saying, I'm going to punch a tornado because that makes total effing sense. Like, seriously? Anyways, welcome to the Great Bay Temple. Oh no, the worst temple in the game that everybody freaking hates because for some reason they can't get the great fairies. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I can understand people's this issue of finishing this temple by, you know, literally absolutely getting the um, fairies. So, I'm not going to really judge on anybody on that because, to be honest, there are occasional times where people can literally screw up. Now, what you want to do first is you want to light all these torches with the fire arrows. Or, you can be smart and have a Deku stick on hand. Also, I didn't mention in the last part, but somebody told me in the comment section that you can use the Deku stick to go ahead and um, get break the owl statues. I didn't know that. So, that was a new thing for me to really not know. <laughs> Anyways, let's bust open these barrels because we can do that or I can just exit the menu now The Great Bay Temple is basically the glorified water temple of the game and it's actually relatively long sort of But not to the not to the grand scheme as how the water temple was in Ocarina I would say that this is a second up to the water temple. Is it bad? It really depends on what your definition of bad really is to be honest because the thing is is that This doesn't look like a temple at all. This looks like an entire factory Hence the reason why I always kept thinking that you know the word temple is a very misleading because this looks nothing like a temple There's a fairy in there. There's a fairy down here now, if you guys are familiar with the water temples as water gimmick, you essentially have to do the same thing as you did in, in the water temple. Except, don't worry, don't worry. Unlike the water temple in Ocarina, you don't have to play the uh, particular song repeatedly just to get things going. There are specific switches in the water temple. These switches right here, which, which doesn't really have much of a fin going on, it looks like an actual fish, you have to press three of these particular switches to actually progress through the dungeon. When you flick all three of these switches, you'll be able to enter the final boss's area and have the water level in a correct order. That's basically the entire gimmick of this entire dungeon is basically um, flipping switches on and off to be able to progress a lot quicker. That's really all you're doing. But this is not really the main hub of the Great Bay Temple. We're about to get to the main hub of the Great Bay Temple in just a few. So be sure to go ahead and always just use your um, gray fairy mask so you can be able to get the um, the fairies that you need. Be careful, there are some douchebag sculptures here because why the hell not? I love how I end up in that I'm getting hit by them because that makes total sense. I'm gonna kill you now. And since I don't really need the ocarina anymore, goodbye. No one up here. Yeah, there is. I'm just hanging out around. Ah, that doesn't make any sense. Of course, they actually had like actual um, web textures. I guess that's a part of the reason, uh, web line, I should say, not web textures, what the hell's wrong with me? I mean, I guess that's part of the main reason as to why they probably gave it to them in, um, other installments of Zelda games, because these guys, you just gotta take into consideration that they're spiders. Welcome to the main hub of the Great Bay Temple. Hmm, I get it, that huge water wheel is powering this thing. Yeah, this is potentially the reason why there's whirlwind all around in the, um, surrounding the Great Bay. Now, why did the turtle have the capabilities of um, getting us through here? Well, because he's a heavy turtle, and we basically were just um, holding on to the turtles' as tree trunks. So, you know, we can be able to progress a lot easily. There's a fairy down here. There's another fairy down there in the center of the arena. So, what you need to do is take out your bow and hope that your shots are... Okay, let's try it again. Hopefully your shots are true. Did I get it? Sometimes I cannot get that. Oh, no, no, I got it. All right, cool. And that's where that fairy is located. Let's go back. Okay, that was great. That was great, Link. <laughs> uh, luckily enough, Link does not get hurt, unlike in... Okay, no, I do not want to grab that. Let's just keep going. This is essentially a washing machine, by the way. Oh, wait, where's that fairy? Oh, there it is. It's coming to me right now. Come to me, little babies. Ah, thank you. Ah. 
Look at that, guys. It's the fifth one. Okay, there's nothing else here. I don't know what the hell. Oh, yeah, there is nothing else here. The, my, my hair is not glowing of majestic. Ah, snap, son. I completely forgot what I was supposed to also do. Oh, well. See, I knew I knew I was gonna forget that. Um, well, actually, you know what? If I can finish this temple a lot quick, uh, quicker, I can probably essentially still do that. So you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose sleep over it, because the thing is that side quest can be finished whenever. We got ourselves new enemies here, and no, I don't mean the really really redonkulous fishes. What I mean is is that. There are these hand things that you're kind of going to need to use in a particular dungeon. In the final dungeon, anyways. But in this dungeon, they're kind of bad, so you got to go ahead and kill them. Now, in this, in the remake, they changed how a particular arrow works. I'll be going into detail when we actually get it. For right now, you guys can just ignore what I just said. Alright, we are 16 minutes in, and we are only halfway through the dungeon. Seriously? No, we're not actually halfway through the dungeon. I'm just lying. <laughs> these are different versions of Deku Babas. In fact, these guys are by far the scarier versions of Deku Babas. I do not like what they look like. They end up growing eyes. I won't lie, though. This temple did scare me for some... I don't know why it scared me, to be honest. But open this chest and you get yourself another fairy. You guys also know we haven't even gotten ourselves a goddamn key yet. Yeah, I know. It actually really takes a while to get ourselves a key. <laughs> The main hub world is basically the area that you're going to be traversing through constantly, though. There are also bomb chews here, so be be careful. Also, be careful for two reasons. You don't want to go on those plants when these guys are on there, because they will go ahead and attack you from above. So, yeah. These bomb chews, however, these guys have the capabilities of walking on water. Does that make any sense to you? No. No. That really doesn't make any sense. I mean, a lot of a lot of enemies in this game seems to want to be Jesus. I, I I don't get it. We open this chest, we get ourselves a map or a compass. I think it's a compass. It's probably a map. It's a map, right? It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. Yo, it's a compass. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what we need to do is we need to go down below the water. Meet our some friends here kill these guys which only takes two hits when you're actually trying to fight them legitimately but you can actually just kill them instantly if you're you know good enough end up killing this hand here which i forgot what they're called we're actually gonna we're gonna i'm gonna um examine what they are i think they're called um i think they start with a d thanks dang that no no they're probably not that's probably not what their names are let's just examine them so i don't sound like an idiot uh let me see where is one there it goes Dang, yeah, Dexy, Dexy hand. I like ambidextrous. Oh, that's um pretty clever. There's also a fairy down there. Yes, I kid you not. <laughs> I told you guys, I know this. I know this game by heart. It's 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 a wonderful game. <laughs> like I said, I can understand people's issues with this dungeon. The fairies are by far the only reason why as to why people don't like this dungeon. But like I said before, the fairies are not really that hard to get. See? Look at that. We're right on our seventh one. Now we need to go in this direction. Because we need to take this key and we need to traverse to one of the areas. It's not that one. And it's this one over here. Because if we come here, we came here early, we actually would not be able to get anywhere because we wouldn't we lack the proper key. That's it. It's really all it is. But you guys also notice something else though? These Octoroks are in a position where you think that you could be able to go ahead and climb on. And Tidal will actually say this. If you could somehow step on top of that Octorok, I bet you'd be able to climb onto that central pillar. But the Octorok is so squishy and keeps squirming around. That's gotta be something. There's gotta be something you can do. And she is right. There is something we can do. Not now, though. So what we need to do, we need to actually go into this direction because of reasons. Kill that bomb chew because he is annoying. <laughs> am I right or am I right? So end up unlocking this door and let's continue on forward. And we got ourselves some I think is there two in here, right? Yeah, the green one and the blue one. That that I mean the green one and the yellow one. The yellow one consists of arrows, the green one consists of magic potions, as you know. 
But that's actually not why we're here. We're actually here because... Well, hmm. This seems familiar. There's nothing in this room. I wonder. Oh my goodness, it's a link to the past callback. Say hello to Wart, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Wart. The boss that used to look like a jellyfish in Link to the Past now looks like a gigantic eyeball. And he's sporting wonderful bubbles that kind of look like eggs. So anyways, to do that, uh, okay, so the thing about Wart here is that he's surrounded by a lot of bubbles. The main goal is you need to go ahead and hit his eye. If you can hit his eye. Now, there is a quick method of actually killing Wart a lot faster. If you can manage to actually hit his eye, and which is really, really difficult, by the way, because his eyes are always um, surrounding him. I mean, the bubble things are always surrounding him. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be repeatedly doing this constantly. And to be honest, this is actually not relatively that fun. But it's the quicker method. And, you know, like I said, it's a lot easier to do in this game than it is to do in the... Um, it's a lot easier to do in this game because of the fact that you kind of don't really have much of... You have a much better leeway with the controller stick than you do with the um, the controller stick in, uh, in the remake. Because the thing is, you guys don't want to break your pads, so yeah, that's part of the major reason. Alright, you know what, Wart? You are being an annoying player. But after you've done two damage to Wart, he will go ahead and you start... Okay, you know what? These guys don't even have any enemy have any enemy bios to be honest. They're just bubbles. They're just very, very slick bubbles. Come on. Show me those wonderful pearly whites, my friend. Dang it! Go away! I'm trying to kill the master here. Dang it! Ugh. If there's like an easier way to kill Wart without any problems, please tell me, because that would be really great. Aside from the factor of doing this, which is basically when you hit him three times and he still has his bubbles, his bubbles will go sporadic out of control and Wart will also go sporadic out of control. Which is funny and ironic. Well, not really ironic. It's funny because in this area it's filled with water and Link to the Past, Wart also had um, water um, in his in his um, boss fight as well. So it's actually pretty interesting. So yeah, Wart would kind of technically lose his entire evil of the mind and he'll just continuously going um, back and forth. What you need to do is, wait, he's dead? Wait a minute, I thought you took more than one damage. Huh? Oh, that was confusing. Uh, all right, whatever. I thought he took more, I thought he took another damage. I, cause, all right, whatever. Uh. I'm not gonna even complain. I don't know why I'm complaining about us not killing him faster or, you know, quicker. But we got ourselves the Ice Arrow. And I'm actually gonna end the part here because I don't want this um, dungeon to go any further than it's supposed to. So in the next episode, I'll be speaking about what the Ice Arrows really can do and whether they changes in the 3D version. I've been CCX and I'll be seeing you guys next time. CCX over and Addis. See ya.